layoff is looming at the East African Portland Cement, the company looks to turn the tide on its performance. In an attempt to cushion its employees from the adverse effects of the job loss, the company intends to make the following payments among others. Compensation of 30 days for each year worked, payment of all accrued leave days by each employee affected, and gratuity to the date of the laying off. Years of declining sales and a fast deteriorating loss position have taken their toll on the listed cement manufacturer, pushing into the extreme of cost-cutting measures. The company, which sunk to a 3.6 billion shilling loss in the full year ended June 2018, is now clutching at the straws of staff layoffs as it seeks to remain afloat. The Trade Cabinet Secretary, Peter Munya, has now said the government is supporting the embattled company in its bid to turn around its fortunes. The Cabinet decision was passed to allow uh, Portland to offload some of the, its assets to retire some of the debts that are weighing it down. The looming layoffs add on to the headwinds rocking the cement sector with Arthur River Mining having been placed under administration in August 2018 of a failure to meet its creditors' demands. The shares of Aram were subsequently suspended from trading at the Nairobi Securities Exchange with the company's assets sold to the National Cement Company for 5 billion shillings. And still on the cement sector, Bamburi Cement saw its operating profit for the full year ended December 2018 plunge by 80% to 835 million shillings. The company has decried a cost-inhibitive business environment which saw its costs rise by 15% to 36 billion shillings. The proposed compensation may at least take care of the needs of the affected employees, but after that, East African Portland Cement still has to address the needs of investors who will be looking to see how the present proposed restructuring will be addressing the need to unlock investor value at the stock market and the share price has been falling, meaning investors have been losing value. Julian's Amboko, NTV.